Okay. So we're going to use React.js to create the JavaScript files that a browser will understand. And also, we will be able to use these in our PHP pages if we want. Okay. So everything we create here, we could put in a PHP page. All right. So Webpack is what we're going to do. These links uh, are also in the description down below. If you want to go to the video description, you can, um, or you can just follow these links. So this way, there's a lot of things we need to understand, but if we can just do it in one quick pay, copy and paste, it'll be a lot better. Okay, so first, let's make a directory. So follow along with me step by step. It won't take too long, but we do need to do it step by step. Oh, one other thing. One other thing. Um, uh, you need to get, you need to go and download Node.js, all right? And you need to install it in your computer. We're not gonna cover that in this tutorial and, and I'm just assuming you have got it installed. That is important and I'm sorry I'm not gonna go through it. Maybe you could pause the video, you could stop it and come back once you've got it installed, okay? And I know maybe it needs to be two days. You know, I, I know that sometimes the installation of those things can be a real pain in the butt. But we're assuming you've got it installed and you're ready to use it. So now we just, we went into our directory here, right? The one we just created. We're going to do npn init. Doesn't matter what we call it. It really doesn't. We're just going to go through. So now come over to here. Copy all of this. We're going to install a bunch of stuff, just a bunch of stuff. Um, and at the end of the day, you probably will use it. So bam. Now what we're going to do, we're going to open that. You don't need this. Uh, you don't need this particular. You could do everything on the command line. It, it really doesn't matter. You don't need an editor like this is what I'm saying. Um, okay. Whoops, it is. What's going on here? Okay, we're still installing. Okay. So now we can see our node modules have been installed. So the first thing we need to do is we need to create two directories. The first one, it must be called source, SRC, okay? And the next one, I'm going to choose to name it dist, but you don't have to name it that, but later you need to keep track of it if you don't. All right, so the first thing, now let's do this. Let's go over here. Let's go to two. Right. So in our source directory, we're going to create an HTML file. We'll call it index. Okay. Now we need, you need to have your root because we're going to make a quick react application. Now we need to do this, create a JavaScript file, index. Okay. We're going to create a few more. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two pages, I guess you could call them, really. Um, and... So we're going to have two entry points to our application. And you could call them pages, whatever. It doesn't really matter here. We'll just call this contact page. OK. 
Okay. And we need to create in this directory contact. Okay. So now we're going to create our configuration file for Webpack. So go ahead and go to this page, copy everything exactly the way it is. Now come up here to the top level of your project directory. Okay, it can't be here, can't be there. It needs to be in top level of your directory. It's a JavaScript file. And you need to name these. Go ahead for now and name these exactly what I'm naming them. Okay, again, we need to come back up to our top level. We're going to create another one. This is just a normal file. Well, I guess it's not normal, but it's we it won't have an ex file extension. You need to call it Babel dot Babel RC. Okay, exactly like that at the top level. Okay, so ignore these HTML tags. Just ignore those. Just copy this part right here. Oopsie. Okay, so now let's create our React.js app. We have already installed it. We have installed React and React.js. That was, um, they were in those packages we initially installed. So here's our simple, simple React app. I mean, if we weren't using React, we wouldn't have to do this. So here's our contact page, right? Here's our contact. And we'll say any. Remember, we need two of these, you guys. Two break. React requires two of them. Um, eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open a terminal. And we're going to do M. Is that all we need? I think it is. It's all we need. Well, let's do this first. Um, well, no, let's first do this. MPX for execute. Webpack dash dash mode development. Okay. Great. So, oh, look at here. So Webpack has created a contact page and a contact uh, JavaScript file and an index and this. But not only that, by using our Webpack plugin, and I'll, I'll talk about that in just a second, we have, it has naturally, for us, it has put in our script tags. And they're in the right order, right? They're in the correct order. Uh, etc. So let's take a quick look here. Um, so let's take a look at the size of these because in a minute we're going to do production where we minify these. So if you look here for this one it's one megabyte which is quite a lot really um, but in just a moment we're going to minify that. Uh, this is just for development, right? All righty. So what are we doing here? All right. Uh, well, let's let's take a look at it, anyways. So let's go to the index page now. You can just double click this, and hello, there we are. All right there's our there's our page, and if we wanted to go to the contact page. There it is. So how is it doing this? Let's take a look at the Webpack configuration file. All right, so here we bring in our Webpack plugin. Now for the entry, I've specified two entry points or essentially like two pages. 
One is the index, and the other is the contact. Now, where is it going to get the JavaScript for it? Okay, there's source. It's right there in source and contact. Okay, and then the output, what will happen is you'll see, you'll see contact.bundle.js, and we also see index.bundle.js. So there, we'll have contact bundle JS index. So that's the output. And so here, where is it in our plugins? We're specifying, okay, for the file name, for the index file name that's going to be created here. Go ahead and use this as our template inside our source. Okay. And for the contact page created here, go ahead and use the contact template. All right. So now you remember that, oh, geez, that, that one megabyte, I don't want to have to, uh, I don't want to have to, um, my users to download something like that. Well, okay. So now go ahead and get back into your main project directory. All right. We have to execute this command that similar to what we did before, dash dash mode. Now we're going to do production. Okay. Okay. So now let's go into this. Now take a look. Oh, wait a minute. Well, let's, let's do this here. Let's do this. We're going to do something. Let's take all this out. See, here are bundles, which are much lower than before. But let's do something just to prove it so we can be absolutely sure. All right, so here we are. Remember how that file was one megabyte, right? Whoopsie daisy. No, I was doing that. All right. Production. Okay. Now go into this. Take a look at this. Now we've got, we're down to 128 kilobytes. Much less, right? So we can still, we could go to our contact. Um, we could go to. And there we go. 